Healy wears zip number one. Brad Barton wears zip number two. That's about 66, so exactly on pace. 212 with 800 to go. 400 to go. Arms pumping as Brad Barton now is going to sit right on his right hip and wait. And now there he goes. He's not waiting anymore with 230 to go. Brad Barton, he wants the world record. Year-old record. It might not stand for much longer. Brad Barton to take the win, and that is a new world masters record. How does it feel to achieve something very difficult that you've striven for for you know, a, a number of, of years? There's a lot of elements to that. I, th I th in one way to answer that is like it did every time. What? <laughs> When I step on a starting line to go attempt a, a, a world record, let's say, I have run that race a lot of times in my mind. I've run that race dozens of times from the warm-up to the, the strides, stepping on the starting line, visiting with my competitors, the, 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 starter, the, the starter pistol, the smell of the gun smoke, every single step. Um, all the contingencies, what could go right, what would I do if things go wrong, and then the feeling, the elation of finishing and actually looking at the scoreboard and saying, I've done it. That's visually imagery many, many times. So in one way, it feels like it always has because I've done it many, many times in my mind. Saunders, Barton, Barton, unofficially new American Masters record for age group 45 to 49. He is pumped. He likes it. Tim Cousins, solid. Solid last three, four last from Cousins. Taking the field two, taking Barton through that new American Masters record. Cousins getting the getting a handshake from Willie Pet. Willie Boyle Pet. 41567 for Brad Barton. New Masters American record age for 49. Seeing that I'm a runner Give and a championship a runner game. means a lot on a lot of different levels because I've uh, when I'm running well there's a there's a back in college and even now when I'm running really well there's a slipstream effect kind of an energy vortex or energy wake that sucks everything around me uh, in and I'm a better dad when I'm running well um, I'm a better student I am more mindful I eat better I sleep better I am more focused in my my profession more disciplined i like being brad more when i'm running well it took some time but soon this spanish fork resident started thinking big coach told me he says you're gonna have to do a thousand really hard things to break world records and at 48 the records came first in the indoor 3000 meter in the 45 to 49 age bracket which was followed by another world best in the steeplechase. To set an age group record in the latter half of that age group is extremely un unusual. And so fast forward five years later, nine days ago in fact, in Nashville, Tennessee, where this now 53-year-old had his eyes set on a third world record, this time in the mile. He would go up against a former Irish Olympian, among others. Turning that last turn, I realized I'm going to win this race. I'm not just going to break a record. We're going to smash it. And that is a new world masters record for 1959 for brad barton he would beat the old mark set 18 years prior by six seconds we're all facing this notion of i've got to go do something that's ne that i've never done i've never never graduated from college this is really hard there are times where i've called my coach and said coach i can't do it this is too hard and um and my coach is yelling back over the phone if this was easy it would have already been done well, that's that's a that's a message for all of us right and um, going to graduate school or finding a, a mate you know um, you know you know the parent teenagers this is too hard I've never done this before we we all get to go places that we've never been and this is the human condition so whatever stories you heard in this video this is really our story isn't it with Brad Barton's details <laughs> This is your, this is the human condition. This is your story. And uh, so let's go do something that's never been done.